up. So I heard over the weekend that uh, one of the award shows, NWCP Awards, one of those shows that Chris Rock took a shot at Jesse Smollett about based on, um, you know, he, he was talking real reckless about what happened with his case and all that and trying to diss him and say you're a waste of light skin and hair and all that. And I'm so tired of the Hollywood colorism. You get tired of hearing about colorism, period, within our own. It's bad enough you got to deal with it in America. But to have to hear someone say this mess. And Chris Rock, let's be realistic. That turkey ain't been funny since MySpace was off and popping. Maybe if you go back to Napster, if you will. Because that was really the last time that Buster counted. For him to be up there popping off. But um, he... Um, says stuff like this to get a cheap thrill, cheap ride. I don't find nothing funny about the Jesse Smuller situation, but I will say this again. If a memory recalls, Chris Rock was in season two opening of Empire where he played a drug kingpin in the prison. And you know that was acting because there was nothing tough about Chris Whack Rock. So Chris Rock up there trying to front, you know, and act like, oh, you know, he about it. Chris Rock, um, he ought to be ashamed of himself for always trying to ride like that. You know, Chris Rock's always taking unserious shots. And a lot of times these so-called comedians are out. If you're funny, you don't have to necessarily diss nobody to up you, per se. But then again, Chris Rock, aside from a few one-liners, when was the last time Chris Rock was funny? I told you before, you go back to Napster, early MySpace era, to remember when Chris Rock actually had a career that counted, because... No one sweated that turkey in about 20 years, so you know. But anyway, um, Jesse Smollett got enough to deal with. You know, he's probably white ball from Hollywood unless he gets some low-budget third or fourth tier role or he gets like a Tyler Perry play or something. Or he might get like a little something, but it'll be one of them in the bushes roles, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, the, they need to let that man rest, you know, whatever. But the one thing you don't need is some plantation hand like Chris Rock trying to throw some shade on somebody. Because Chris Rock need to worry about his own little career. And I recall Chris Rock had an episode where some chick was claiming, was trying to extort off of him. Did anyone come out and crack jokes about him? No. So he need to chill and ease up and let stuff smoke clear, you know. Because this, this, this level of what they call for comedy ain't really funny. Not when people are taking unnecessary cheap shots on people. And there's a lot of them who do it, and they're not really funny. They play as comedians, but they play acting. But Chris Rock, um, you know, he way out of bounds on this one. So, you know, that's my take about Chris Rock trying to take a cheap shot at Jesse Smollett, which has no, you know, there's no place for all that. And start talking about the man's skin tone and his hair and all that stuff. He got a lot more to deal with than just imagery. But if we're still thinking about how we look out in Hollywood, then we really ain't progressed much of nothing. So, anyway, that's about my take about Chris Rock trying to digest and smell it. Feel free to leave them comments, hit that subscribe, and when the bell rings, that's my next video. And I'm out. Peace.